Breaking news, the Elite 11 MVP is Oklahoma commit Jackson Arnold, a five-star in the class of 23. Our Steve Wiltfong wrote yesterday at 24-7 Sports that Arnold spins it like a college player already, not, not just like his high school peers. He's got zip on the ball, and some believe that by the end of his final high school season this year, he's going to be looked at in the same light as Arch Manning and the other top recruits in the class. There he is. He, he up he up from a four to a five star. This is a guy who's kind of a late bloomer at the highest levels. He was looked at as a really, really good QB, but has exploded over the last months and year or so. His national rank is 35, but it is rising. And we have Josh Pate out at the Elite 11 in LA with Jackson Arnold. Back here in Los Angeles, Elite 11 Finals now in the books. Sitting next to me, Jackson Arnold, MVP, man. How about those three letters being attached to your name? What's this entire thing been like now? It's been awesome. This has been a fantastic three days. It's almost like a, like a dream. You know, when I was a little kid, I used to watch this on YouTube and always knew one day this is where I wanted to be. And these past few days have been nothing short of amazing. We talked to you last night here, and I was talking to you again just now before we went on air. It's always interesting to find out what you think about yourself coming into an event like this where you got the best talent in the country at your sure. position and then you get into night one and you get into day two and you start feeling your way when did you go from thinking i just want to go compete in this thing to man i really think i can win this thing definitely after night one i kind of i guess gauged my competition and kind of saw that i was i was throwing good uh i was throwing good tuesday and i was like man i'm on i'm i have a really good shot to go win this thing you came out here you got a lot of family out here did you did you get caught up in like the spectacle of it all or were you able to really maintain focus all week? Oh, I was able to maintain focus. I think that's a I think I was able to do that with help from the coaches too cuz with the meetings and all the training they gave us, you know, it was stuff like like this like media training and stuff like getting you focused like yoga in the morning. We did hot yoga uh, yesterday morning super early and this whole yogi's whole main point of that was, you know, focus and refocus and kind of help us, you know, focus on that and kind of Stuff like that. Had you ever done hot yoga before? Absolutely not. I would <laughs> never do it again. <laughs> so, so it's useful, but you're going to put it in the rearview mirror. Yes, okay. definitely. All right, gotcha. So moving forward now, we've got a senior season, but we've got Oklahoma coming up. Okay. I guess my first question is, I mean, as you're looking ahead and you're going to play for Brent Venables and you're going to play for sort of a restructured Oklahoma Sooners football program, how do you package up what you did here and what you learned here and take it into your senior season, and then what you what do you ultimately want to tell Sooner fans? I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I learned this year or this uh, this week about maybe footwork, um, mechanics. Uh, I I was under Coach Palmer this week, and he's a huge uh, QB trainer, biomechanic or biomechanist. Is that how you say it? I mean, it sounds like it's right to me. So it sounds good. Yeah. So he does stuff like that. Does stuff like your mechanics and stuff. So I learned a lot that I can take back to my college coaches and even concepts and plays. I can take take back to my high school coaches and say, you know, we should run this. You know, it worked really good in seven on seven here. And uh, to Sooner fans, I'm super excited. Like, there's no place I'd rather be. How involved do you feel like you have to be in helping with the recruiting process for Oklahoma? Because as you well know, I mean, you, you already had a big name. The name only gets bigger when you're Elite 11 Finals MVP, but you're also the quarterback in that class. How much responsibility do you take upon your own shoulders to help recruit that class around you? Tons of responsibility. Almost every single day I'm texting either the same recruiter or a new recruit, just kind of helping them, you know, kind of helping OU out. Because there's new coaching staff, they might need some help recruiting because kids maybe don't understand where they're from or where they come from or how good they actually are. So I'm out there helping almost every single day, even yesterday and this morning. I'm, I'm up texting recruits, still like telling you, oh, he's the place to be, man. We want you to be part of this special class. Jackson Arnold, man, it was a pleasure watching you this week. I know I share the sentiment from everyone around this camera right now. Overly impressive. Congratulations on the Elite 11 Finals MVP. Thank you. Josh Pate with Jackson Arnold, the Elite 11 MVP, who is number six in our quarterback rankings and rising, a five-star in the class of 23, committed to Oklahoma and new head coach Brent Venables. 24-7 sports out there at the Elite 11 all week. We've got you covered. Transfer portal updates, recruiting rankings, the seismic shifts that happen each and every week, sometimes every day, every hour. And we've got it covered at HQ as well.
Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.